Hey guys, I want to do a quick video on inflammation and what's at the core of inflammation in the body. Uh, let's first talk about cortisol. Cortisol is an adrenal hormone. It's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. When you have inflammation or pain or any type of inflammatory condition, whether it's autoimmune or whatever, uh, the remedy medically is cortisone shots, cortisone creams, prednisone, okay? because it's anti-inflammatory. So when you run out of cortisol, maybe because you have adrenal stress or you're burnt out, you start developing all sorts of inflammatory conditions. You can even develop an autoimmune condition if cortisol is not working. Okay, so it's intimately connected with adrenal problems. Okay, so that's number one. Oh, one more point about that. If you have high levels of cortisol, massive stress, the receptor for cortisol can be blocked or downgraded or become resistant. So now you have cortisol resistance. So now you have high levels of cortisol, but then you also have low levels of cortisol because it's not effective anymore because the cell is blocking it. So it's just not working. So that could be another reason why you have low cortisol and at the same time high cortisol. Same thing happens with insulin. Uh, insulin, believe it or not, is an anti-inflammatory type hormone. It's anti-inflammatory. But what happens when it goes high because the diet is wrong, too much sugar, too frequent eating, you develop something called insulin resistance. Okay, so high levels of insulin, your body protects from that because it's too much. So it's going to develop a uh, resistance in the cell. Then you have low insulin. So it's an insulin deficiency. That's, that's where the inflammation is coming from. It's unavailable insulin. Insulin is the only hormone that lowers blood sugars. Okay, there's no other hormone that does that. So, so many people have high sugar and they have inflammation because insulin is not working, either because the pancreas is burnt out or you have insulin resistance, which is a very, very common condition. So, it's the insulin resistance which is really causing the inflammatory condition and also the high levels of blood sugar. They go hand in hand. Um, glucose by itself is very inflammatory. So consuming sugar, you're going to get inflammation. Also, the fat on your body, if it's in excess, will produce certain things that can trigger insulin resistance and cause the same uh, problem, inflammation. So if you're stiff, if you're inflamed, if you have pain, and you're consuming a lot of carbs and eating frequently, that's a big problem. So I put a little link down below of more information that you can get to improve the situation. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book, some of you don't, but this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm gonna show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below, check it out.